Hi, in this video I'll show you how to apply a theme and then how to use conditional formatting command to create a pointer then how you can lock your cells and protect your sheet so no one can change the content in your cell and then in last I'll show you how to create a name of your cell to create a theme click on the page layout tab click themes command and then you can select one of the themes from the list. For this video we'll select track theme and now we'll use conditional formatting to create a pointer. So the first thing that we'll do is select all these cells here. So I selected cells E5 to E14. Once all these cells are selected, click home tab, click conditional formatting, click new rule, and then select format only cells that contain in the first drop down box make sure you have cell value and then the second drop down box we will select equal to and then in this box we'll type in that cell reference which is let's click on this this ears which is c8 so once you have that click on this icon again to go back and let's change the formatting of all these cells that we selected. So basically what we want to do is if the cell value is equal to whatever value we have in cell C8, we want to change the formatting or background of one of those cells in our range here, that, the range that we selected. So let's click on format and click fill tab, select the fill color red go back to font tab and let's also change the color, font color to white click ok on this dialog box and click ok here so as you notice that we already had 40 in cell c8 and it automatically changed the background color of this cell because this cell is matching with the value that we have in cell c8 so let's change the value of this cell to 25 and as you notice that once I press enter, it will automatically change the fill color of this cell to red. Okay, so that's how you create a pointer using conditional formatting. Okay, um, let's see how you can lock your cells and protect your sheet so no one can change the content in your cell. To lock your cells, select the cells right click on the cell and then you will get format cells option click on format cells and then make sure you're in the protection tab and simply select locked checkbox click ok on this dialog box here all right Right now, it will not do anything until we go and protect our sheets. So to protect our sheet, click the Review tab and click Protect Sheet. You can enter a password if you want, or you can just leave it blank and click OK on this. Now, if I go and change, try to change the uh, value of cell C6, which is locked, it will be an error saying that this sheet or this cell is read only. All right, so that's how you can uh, protect your sheet. Okay, so let me show you how to create a name of your cell. Select the cell, then click in the name box and get rid of the text that you have in the name box and type in annual return. And then press enter on your keyboard. And this will apply that name on the cell. So if I select this cell, it will show me a name of that cell in the name box. To edit or delete this name, click the formulas tab, click name manager, select the name, click edit, or you can click delete to delete this name from this workbook. All right, thank you for watching.